Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Thanks for joining me today on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. And welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to look at Avid 2021 and the Titler tool. Now the Titler tool has been upgraded. It's certainly a lot better than the previous title slash marquee um, title tool. Um, so let's have a little look at it today. And what we're going to try and do is just make a simple lower third for um, Ed Tristram here, who's a wonderful sound mixer. Um, so you can see I've got one video layer here and I've got an in and an out. Um, but in order to make this easier, I'm going to need another video layer. So if you go Command on a Y on a Mac, and you can then see your um, second video layer and the space in which the title tool is going to place that caption. Jump over to the T here, click on that. You can see the title tool has placed its effect on that video layer too. Um, video layer. Okay, we've got two menus here. We've got a more detailed one up here and we've got sort of a more concise one. But they sort of do the same thing and you can use a combination of both. Okay, so if you jump over to this T, click on the screen and I'm going to write in Ed's name. Ed, Tris. Tram. Okay, really simple. Um, you've got a positioning box here as well, so I can position, or you can use the positioning on the screen over here, sort of left, justified center, or right justified. And you can also justify up, middle, and also down as well. Now what I want to do is, is put Ed's position in as well. So click on the screen, and I'm going to use a sound mixer. Okay. And I'm going to position that again. Um, I'm going to make it smaller. Now you can make it smaller by just going to um, this section here, or you can actually drag the corners of it. So I think that's quite good. I'm also going to add a bit of kerning to that too. So you've got all the traditional tools here for your topography. That's pretty cool. So I like that position, but you're probably going to need to change the font. Okay, so I'm just going to go to Ed. You can select on it. If you double click on it, if you double click on the word, it will select the word. If you click three times, it will click the entire word. So now, and then here's where we can change the font. So let's just roll through, see whether we can find something nice. Let's go to impact. That's looking pretty cool. Select all. Now let's change the color on this thing as well. You can do that by going to the uh, color. Uh, square here and we can then just change the color over here good happy with that like that okay um i think as well as the kerning on this one let's also apply so we've applied some skew to that too so that's looking nice um remember you can very quickly just pick it up move it around reposition it um sort of quite happy with that we could also as well apply a background sort of um uh, color too. So click on the little box here, just drag over and you can see obviously it's gone in front. Now we of course need to uh, change that and some of the tools down here that you can see that we have, we have the center back key and also you've got the center front key as well. So these two tools are really handy. Um, let's see, so we've got the colors quite bright white. Now let's choose a different color. Let us go for Let's pick out this light type color in the background. Yeah, that's okay there. Um, and let us just choose, turn off the shadow. And we can then start to reduce the opacity of it too. So it's looking quite nice. I think let's just tuck this in nicely here. So very, very simply, we have created a, a Quite cool little Office, lower, incredible. Quite cool little lower third there, which is quite nice. Um, you can play around with the topography, play around with the positioning, but the title tool will allow you to do this a lot quicker actually from the previous versions of the Avid title tool. Um, you can see that it's actually come out of this um, uh, the editor now. Just but if you want to get back into that, it's really easy. Just go to the uh, effects mode, click on that. And that will open up. That will only open up. What I've noticed is it'll only open up this, this, the, the bigger sort of inspector. But what you can do, what you can do is jump to tools. That will bring up the other title tool as well, which is quite handy to have. So those two options there. Um, now, what you could also do as well, um, you could also save that to a bin, and just like any other one. So you could click on that. Uh, let's click on the effects menu, and in the effects menu, you will always see in all of the Avid effects menus the little pink icon. You can just drag that pink icon into a bin, and there you go. And that can be your 
your title. And of course, that can be out now used again if you ever need to go back to that title again in the future. Okay, um, we could also do some simple effects on this too. So if we wanted to mix it up and mix it down, we can very simply just go to the mix key. Okay, let's just play that through. Great. So there's a really quick video for how to set up a basic lower third for Avid Media Composer 2021. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.